So I'm going to be reading excerpts from Sarah Kay's spoken word poem, If I Should Have a Daughter. If I should have a daughter, instead of mom, she's gonna call me point B. That way, at least she knows that no matter what happens, she can always find her way to me. And I'm going to paint solar systems on the backs of her hands. That way she has to learn the entire universe before she can say, oh, I know that like the back of my hand. And she's going to learn that this life will hit you hard, in the face, wait for you to get back up just so that it can kick you in the stomach. But getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs of how much they like the taste of air. There is hurt here that cannot be fixed by band-aids nor poetry. That's what my mom taught me. That there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this, my mama said. When you open your hands to catch and wind up with only blisters and bruises. When you step out of the phone booth and try to fly and the very people you want to save are standing on your cape. When your boots fill with rain and you're up to your knees in disappointment. And those are the very days that you'll have all the more reason to say thank you. Because there's nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean refuses to stop kissing the shoreline no matter how often it's sent away. You will put the wind in win some and lose some. You will put the star in starting over and over. I want her to know that good things come in threes and so do bad things. To always apologize when you've done something wrong, but don't you ever apologize for the way your eyes refuse to stop shining. Your voice is small, but don't you ever stop singing. And when they finally hand you heartache, when they slip war and hatred under your door, after they hand you handouts on the street corners of cynicism and defeat, you tell them that they really ought to meet your mother. Hey everybody, this is a little piece I wrote called Roots. This nation stands like an oak, covered in moss, riddled with life. The sun beams down its rays of hope on the blade of the knife. Lonely roads we take ourselves at times I cannot share them. From a distance, I rebel in a land that's very barren. Seconds pass, nights turn to day, speeding fast in my Chevrolet. The stars and stripes of our flag don't represent a single race. Shooting star, I see your beauty, art, destruction from the ashes. To spread the knowledge is our duty can't learn it all in the classes. To move the masses in thought, I can only plant the seeds and farm my own family plot. Hummingbirds drink from the leaves. It's the conversations we have in between the lines and the way it makes us feel when it replays in our mind. So open up the door, together we will climb the branches of our country and look off to the night. Thank you. Mending Wall by Robert Frost. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that sends the frozen ground swell under it, and spills the upper boulders in the sun, and makes gaps even two can pass abreast. The work of hunters is another thing. I have come after them and made repair. Where they have left not one stone on a stone, but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. The gaps, I mean, 
No one has seen them made or heard them made. But at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill, and on a day we meet to walk the line. And set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go. To each the boulders that have fallen to each. And some are loaves and some so nearly balls. We have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game. One on a side, it comes to a little more. There where it is, we do not need the wall. He is all pine and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. He only says, good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me, and I wonder if I could put a notion in his head. Why do fences make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here there are no cows. Before I built a wall, I'd ask to know what I was walling in or what I was walling out and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves exactly, and I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there, bringing a stone grasped firmly by the top. In each hand, like an old stone, savage armed, he moves in darkness as it seems to me. Not of woods only and the shade of trees, he will not go behind his father saying, and he likes having thought of it so well. He says again, good fences make good neighbors. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch the woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, this darkest evening of the year, he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep.